Now, I know this may be hard for you guys to believe, but I like to eat. I like to eat wings, preferably the garlic parmesan from Pluckers. By the way, if you guys live in Texas in the Metroplex and there's a Pluckers near you, on Mondays, it's all you can eat wings for 20 bucks. All right. They see me coming and they know they're going to lose money because I get my money's worth. All right. I'm just saying. But I don't care how much I love wings. I can't do that every single day. And the same goes for everything else. The streaming, gaming, and, you know, just pumping out content. I don't care how much you love something. You can't do it every single day. You know, people like Tim, Summit, or PewDiePie get burnt out. They bust their ass to succeed in their field. And the criticism people like them get is unwarranted. What kind of criticism? Well, uh, maybe the criticism, like, say, if they want to take a break because they're burnt out from doing the same thing every single day. Now, here is a uh, short clip that I'm going to play as uh, Tim discusses why he takes days off. I know you do. Just give me a second. Let me get this thought out. I just want to spew this thought. What I've really found from my streaming career, Omega Law career, whatever you want to call it, is that I, I value my time off being able to take a break and being able to reset. And I am, I am 100% confident that me taking those breaks has made me able to stream as for this is now nine years um burnout is a real thing in in, in twitch and in streaming and content creation um mental health is a huge deal in content creation and one thing that i've i've always done you can ask anyone i've always taken time i've always reset and, and a lot of you guys are are you know, just laughing and, you know, doing and saying, okay, but like, you're, you're part, you're honestly part of the problem. To be completely honest with you, if you don't, if you don't see that, if you don't see the streamers need those breaks, it's, that's part of the issue. It is, man. That, that's just, and some of you guys are saying, get a real job. And that's, and that's, I mean, bro, I used to, I used to fucking landscape for 60 hours a week. I understand I'm just talking to people that maybe don't fully understand streaming here. I used to, I used to physical labor, 40 to 40 to 50. I did have one 60 hour work week in landscaping that I'll never forget. Right. Physical labor outside sweating day in, day out. I understand what that kind of a job operates like. I get it. It's not fucking easy. If you do physical labor, I, I feel for you, man. It's not an easy thing. Flip side of that, where I'm at now, this is a this is a hard job in its own right. And I understand from the outside in what it looks like. I completely get it. Okay. But there's this weird, there's this weird thing on Twitch where it's like if a streamer takes a break, that's not good enough for the chat. And it's this weird. And, and you, it's almost like some, like not all of you chat. I, I'm speaking to maybe one to 2% of you. And I know 90% of you guys are joking with me in the chat. I understand that. But there's a 10% of people where it's like a streamer goes, hey, I'm going to take the weekend. And someone goes, how about you get a real fucking job? Like, what are you talking about? And all this person is trying to do is to take a step back, right? And, and you got the guy making them feel bad for trying to take a day off. Weird shit, bro. Me personally, I just want you guys to know something. Me personally, I take my days and I let you guys know. And I, I want you to know, 90% of you, I know you're kidding with me. I get it. Okay. Yeah. So he could explain a little bit better than I can. Just wanted to put that clip in there. So you guys have a good idea of uh, what I was talking about when content creators get burnt out. And I get it. They're, there's this fear there. I mean, especially on Twitch. There's this fear that if I take a day off or if I take a short break, I need this. I not. They need this mental break. They're feeling overwhelmed. They're they're just like every day getting up, record, edit, 
put it out. You know, people, uh, people are expecting this. People, uh, you know, people, you know, um, some people look up to me, yada, 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 yada. They get burnt out. And I think Tim summed it up, uh, Tim the Tatman, summed it up perfectly in that short clip. On a side note, though, uh, Nick Merckx will stop playing Warzone tournaments. He's, he, he, he's not going to stop Warzone. Because that's like the hottest game right now. That's like the meta. Well, meta for top streamers. If you're an inspiring streamer, don't play Warzone because you are going to be saturated to the very bottom and nobody will ever discover you. But he's taking a break from the Warzone tournaments due to the lack thereof, or should I say, no anti-cheat in Warzone. The unfortunate truth is that cheating and hacking in Warzone has become something players are no longer surprised to see. If you've ever, ever played Warzone at any point, I'm sure you've run into your fair share of cheaters. And uh, this is what Nick Merckx had to say about that. Listen, it's been like that pretty much right, right around when we won that 100K tournament. It started getting funky. And, I, and listen, I told you guys, I fucking told all of you, this is, this is the natural evolution of these games. The same shit happened in Fortnite. Same thing, okay? So, you guys can deal with it. You can play in it. You can watch it. You can be a part of it. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm done. I'm. I'm, I'm not. I mean, unless there's like some extra incentive for me to play a tournament, I'm not fucking playing in it. There's just no point. People are just full of shit. And I mean, shout out to the ones that aren't. You know, I, I feel bad for Tommy and Aiden and uh, and those type of players. You know, but it's just it's. Hey, listen, it's been so yeah. That's pretty much what he had to say about it, which is completely understandable. <laughs> it really is. I, 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 I used to play Warzone a lot, like every day, a lot. Like I even invested the uh, twenty bucks into <laughs> getting the season pass. It's just twenty dollars. I know it's just twenty dollars, but I am a fucking thirty-one-year-old man, uh, and I have a lot of bills to pay, and I have, and I have two kids. So yeah, sometimes that twenty bucks. Uh, is a lot of money you're like hmm should i get the season pass or should i put gas in the car so i can get to work all right all right so i don't I, i'm literally a salary job so i get the same amount every damn week so i don't have much room to work with i can't put in like the extra hours to do it but yeah it's just um i run into my fair share of cheaters now i'm not the best at Warzone, okay? I'm not the best at any first-person shooter game, but I do it, and I like to have fun. And there's just some times when I'm like, there's no way in hell. There's no way. There's good skill shots. Th there's good players. But I know you did not fucking see me right there from halfway across the map, all right? I, I just know it. I know it. There's no way in hell. But, yeah. So let's move on to uh, um, Xbox, all right? Now, um, a few days ago, uh, Xbox said that they were going to raise the prices of Xbox Live Gold. All right. So this is what former Xbox VP uh, Mike Yabara, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, this is what, uh, uh, this is what he, uh, he said. Get rid of gold. Stop charging for multiplayer, especially in free-to-play games. And put energy behind ensuring Game Pass is the best deal around. Now, if you guys don't have an Xbox, uh, Game Pass is a monthly subscription. And uh, you get to play. I, um, I have it. And I only use it to play uh, Minecraft Dungeons. But there's so many other games that you can possibly get uh, uh, behind. I don't, unfortunately, have the time to you know, browse through them and play them. And, I mean, I love that he said that because it came right off the back of uh, just a few days ago when they said they, they were going to raise the price after it. But the backlash, the backlash, Microsoft had to reverse their decision, which, which is awesome, which is great. I mean, we're in a freaking pandemic right now. Everyone is, is, is going through something. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there in a, and I mean, it's just on a tight budget and Video games is their way out. It's my way out. I mean, unless I'm having a really, really, really bad day, um, video games is what I turn to, to um, get away from everything, to just for a short period of time, let me have fun, let me forget about my problems, let me forget about my bills, let me forget about life, let me forget about my job, 
and it's and 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 that's how it is for a lot of people. And I mean, yeah, they weren't going to raise it much, but they were still going to, you know, come on, people are barely paying it as as they are anyways. But on top of that, Xbox Live will no longer be required in free to play games like Warzone and Fortnite in in the next coming months. Are they going to make it permanent? Are they going to be like, "You know what? Let let let's keep it this way." But all they said was for the next few months. So there's no real there's no real timetable on that. But um when I just the whole Xbox and PS5 controversy. I mean, you know what? We're not going to get into that. We'll, we'll get into that later. We've already discussed this. And um, so we can't, we can't end this show without talking about how amazing Twitch is, how fair and unbiased they are with their platform in some other multiverse timeline. Meanwhile, in this universe, Twitch is accused of hip- hypocrisy after permanently banning a streamer for their account age all right now it's uh the streamer um is average harry he created his account before he was uh 13 years old twitch has said if you make an account before the age of 13 it will terminate your account but is this is it really true now in a reply to slasher's post about this on twitter on screen uh said said this let me just pull it up real quick Oh no, I am so unprepared. Okay, here we go. Now, Slasher said this. If you make an account on Twitch before turning 13 years old, no matter what age you are now or how many followers you have, Twitch will terminate your account and you will be forced to make a new one. Twitch has again very bad at... Blah, 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 blah. Twitch has been again very bad at communicating this to younger streamers so that was his tweet and on screen uh replied with this no way twitch will actually do this now here are a list of uh accounts that were made before the age of 13 and they're big accounts all right so we got uh booga with 3.8 million followers they were 12 years old when they made the account benji fishy 2.8 million followers they were 10 years old when they made their account uh mongrel 3.8 3.8 million followers. They were 12 years old. Fresh, 3.9 million followers. They were 10 years old. And uh, to- and uh, Tommy Linnet, 3.3 million followers. And they were 11 years old when they made their account. Now, is Twitch going to ban these people? Are they going to permaban them and delete their account? Just say, hey, just make a new one. Just make a new one. No, I don't think they are. You know, they uh, uh, Twitch is, is um, not fair. It's it's it is ridiculous and uh this is what uh uh he had to uh say about this let's see if i can pull up so this is uh this was their their uh re- response to what uh average harry said uh so thanks for applying for the partner program we have reviewed your content and statistics but are unfortunately unable to offer your channel a partnership at this time In your partnership application, you've listed your age as 15, although this doesn't appear to align with your account details. Please get in touch with Twitch support in order to see whether you can update your birthday to be accurate. Otherwise, you may need to make a new account with correct details. Note that partnership acceptance is dependent on multiple factors. And this is, uh, okay, you know what? All they're saying is, um, hey, uh, delete your account. Oh, we, we... uh, we found out that you were underage, uh, the age of 13, when you made your account. So we're going to delete it. We're going to permaban you, but you can make a new one. And mind you, whenever you first, you got to apply for affiliate and then you got to apply for partnership. And in all of those, you need to make certain requirements, average viewers, time stream, yada, yada. There's certain requirements to make. So pretty much what they're telling this person is just start over. You know, he would, he got this, he got banned for, a. uh, because he applied for partnership and on his application, they were like, hey, this doesn't line up. What the hell is going on here? So unfortunately, we'll have to see. I mean, even if he does, even if he does have to start over, he had over 90K followers. So just make a new account. You have, I mean, just, it sucks. It sucks. I don't think it's going to get reversed. So he's, um, average Harry is probably just going to have to uh, make a new account 
tweet out that, hey this is where i'm streaming at now and just start over and just it's just um a bad bad time for everybody right there i mean when is twitch gonna when are they gonna learn i'm actually uh while we're on the subject i am going to start streaming to youtube since I'm I'm making videos on there too now, I'm as well as like, hey, I can just kill two birds on one stone, stream on YouTube, and then just make videos. So yeah, just putting that out there. You know, I'm gonna do a um a plug-in uh for my Twitter at the underscore Mexcam. There's no I in Mexican. All right. And uh yeah, right there in my bio, you'll find links to everything if you want to follow me. But let's end this on a funny story, shall we? And by funny story, I mean amazingly funny story. So we were just talking about hacking and uh, cheaters in uh, Warzone. Well, now we're going to talk about another game. Uh, there's cheating in everything. Every game you play, I'm pretty sure there's freaking cheaters out there. But uh, some cheaters uh, attempted to get some sort of hack for uh, Rainbow Six uh, Siege. And they ended up downloading multiple backdoors into their PC to farm bitcoin this has to be the greatest thing i have read all day all right so pretty so they ended up getting a message on discord or 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 something but they got a message saying hey um and these guys were super nice about it like hey uh so that thing you downloaded no matter what you do you can't delete it you know you have it set up in your uh no matter if you restart your computer no matter if you turn it off no matter what you do um we put multiple back doors in there to gain access to your computer now we're not going to do anything bad all we're going to do is we're just going to use your computer to farm bitcoin when you're not using it and between this time and this time hey and when your computer's idle we'll start using your computer again all you have and you don't have to do anything all you got to do is just turn on a game and it'll stop all right uh and we're just running off your cpu we're not running off your gpu we need to make money all right, we just need to make money. So we're going to use other people's PCs to farm Bitcoin. This is amazing, <laughs> just amazing. And the greatest thing, I, it, it made my day. I was, I was like, yes, yes, these, these suckers. And unfortunately, there's nothing they can do about it. So uh, they own half of their computer right now <laughs> and probably forever and always. So this is amazing. That's what you get for uh, trying to download cheats and hacks for games. So yeah, um, uh, play stupid games win stupid prizes i guess you can say but that is going to be the podcast for today guys thank you once again for stopping by i really appreciate the um the uh fact that you guys take time out of your day to just uh listen and um hear my voice and hang out with me for a little bit and just get little little updates every now and then on uh what's going on uh once again if you uh need to uh, find me on some platforms. You can just check me out on Twitter. I have a link there that tell uh, t takes you to all of them. Like, hey, you want to go here? Want to go to my YouTube? Want to go to my Twitch? You know, whatever you want to do. Uh, it is at the underscore Mexican. And there's uh, a Mexcan. There's no I in Mexican. So it's the underscore Mexcan on Twitter. And uh, give me a follow. Hit those links. And guys, I will see you later.